Bad Wolf MTG here, and you're watching the Ether Hub. This past week, I've been trying to figure out what standard deck I want to play. Currently, I've been running a green red pummeler energy deck, but it's not doing so hot because huh, pummeler, electrostatic pummeler, is very susceptible to removal. I mean, it's 1 1 for 3 mana, and it's quite painful when that dies, and it does a lot very easily. So I've been looking at some of the other decks that have been doing well at the Pro Tour and at the most recent GP Pittsburgh, and there's a couple of them that have really caught my eye. The green-black aggro deck looks sweet. I've been really considering playing it, but I am a little concerned. It has a certain artifact creature that I'm a little worried may come under the ban hammer. I mean, smugglers are Copter was a two mana artifact that got banned, so I'm kind of worried Walking Ballista might too. I like being able to play the cards I spend money on, so let's put this Walking Ballista on the stack. It's no secret that Walking Ballista is pretty good. At XX for its mana cost, you get a 0-0 artifact creature construct. When it enters the battlefield, it gets X plus one plus one counters. You can pay four and add an extra plus one plus one counter on it. If you remove a plus one plus one counter, you can do one damage to either target creature or target player. This card is extremely versatile and as such, it's been popping up in a couple of different decks, most notably the green black kind because it and Mr. Winding Constrictor are besties. That adding an extra counter is awesome. You can pay two mana to get two plus one plus one counters on it when it comes to the battlefield if you already have a winding constrictor and then you can pay four mana and you get two plus one plus one counters on it so it works really well and that synergy is really nice there it's also seen some play in green white tokens it's a great way to deal with the uh, copycat combo just remove a counter and get rid of sahili rai when the copy's on the stack and it also works well with a couple other cards in that green white tech um, Rishkar, Nissa, it fits in there nice and synergizes very well with it too. How well has it been doing? Well, in the Pro Tour, there were a total of four copies. But that's because that whole metagame was run over by a whole bunch of vehicles, and those green-black decks weren't quite tuned to be able to beat the vehicles that it, like it needed to be for that tournament. It really showed its power at GP Pittsburgh where there were 20 copies in the top eight. So with all that information, am I worried about it really coming under the ban hammer? And to be honest with you, no, I'm not. Walking Ballista is no smuggler's copter. It's in very specific decks that synergize well with its abilities, and it's not in every single deck that it can be into being a colorless artifact. It's not like smuggler's copter. You're not saying, hey, what 54 cards do I put in my deck? because you have to run a full playset of Smuggler's Copter. It's really not powerful enough on its own and it needs to be combined with other cards like Winding Constrictor or Rishkar to really have that synergy that it needs to be in those decks. Let's pop this Ballista off the stack. I've decided that if Green Black is the deck that I want to be playing, then I am more than willing to invest in my copies of Walking Ballista. If you disagree with me, if you agree with me, leave that in the comments below. I want to hear your opinions. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the Ether Hub for more Magic the Gathering content.